guys welcome to another vlog thank you for tuning in if you're an og thank you so much for coming back and if you're just stumbling on my channel for the first time thank you as well you're going to love it here so just stay tuned at this point i went to undo my hair because like ah it was looking very old so i just passed by a salon in quarter to just remove the braids and yes she just managed so i just go back home like whenever i'm losing my hair it looks so long like take a look this is my natural i'm not really happy hair but when water touches it i'll insert a picture my hair is like this that's if i don't have hair <laughs> anyway i just go back home and i am so tired the first thing i have is i have to eat because this tiredness i have to eat and then I uh, intend to do my hair tomorrow. I'm going to do knotless braids by the grace of God. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do knotless braids. So I'll do my hair tomorrow. And then today has been a very eventful day. Like, I've been up and about this whole town, this whole Yaoundé town. I had to first of all go to the office. As well, I had to, I had to pass and collect cafe. If you have watched my previous vlog, I was about cafe. That's because I collect this cafe. This cafe was ordered by a friend. She ordered cafe, so I had to go and collect her cafe as well. And then my modem. My modem has been like disturbing me for the past, I don't know. And if I, it cost me a lot. For the past two weeks, I think so. My modem has just been, it was no longer coming on. It was not, I, got, I got this modem from Campbell. And the modern was not, I've already changed the battery once though. So the battery that is in the modern now is the second is the second one. And it was disturbing, like the, it was not charging anymore. So I had to go for them to fix it. What happened is that since I always activated my data on my Camtel, I always use Camtel for my for browsing. So what I have is that I had to now constantly be switching my SIM card. See my phone takes just one thing. I had to constantly be switching my SIM card between MTN campaign and MTN campaign because I needed a campaign for the internet. I event eventually I lost my MTN SIM. And so yesterday I had to go and retrieve the SIM. This morning you should tell me how much did you retrieve the SIM because my heart is pinning. When I went to retrieve the modem, I was explaining to the guy that I lost my MTN SIM. I eventually had to go and withdraw and uh, retrieve the SIM. And the amount of money that I used to retrieve that SIM, because they were telling me that when the amount of money, your mobile money is less than 10,000, you use 3,000 to retrieve this SIM. And if the amount of money inside is more than 10,000, you need more money to retrieve this SIM. And I was like, and then now this guy told me that he has ever retrieved his SIM for 100 francs. I didn't want to think about the money that I eventually used to retrieve this thing. But please, if you have ever retrieved a thing in this town, in this country, in your own day, please, how much did you retrieve this thing for? Because my heart is sleeping now. As I'm thinking about the money I used to retrieve that thing, my heart is still. <sighs> wow. Any team meeting as well in the office. We had a team meeting. And okay, we are here to talk about office, 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 office. I do uh, nail marketing, so maybe subsequently in the video I'm going to be I'm going to talk about nail marketing in particular, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> if you want, if you're interested in hearing about it, I'll feel, in fact, I'll be very elated to talk to you guys about it. So I have like so many things I have to do tomorrow. I just came here to just update you guys around what's up and so I need to rest. I'm just tired. Ah, you guys should not forget. Cafe, cafe for your weight loss journey. Cafe for your weight loss journey. Don't forget to get cafe. Those that do not tell you.
Est-ce que toi tu as respecté d'abord Tu préfères seulement accuser l'autre Il faut d'abord te regarder. Ah. Traffic in this town is always something else. Like another car will literally come and block you when their line is not passing. As in just stay on the other side so that the cars in the middle can move. But you literally come and now stand still in front of a car that had the possibility of going ahead. Traffic in this town, drivers in this town, I don't understand. Like, I don't know. They don't have sense. Something is wrong some way. Uh uh. shampoos that have soft feet but i don't know like this shampoo has soft feet like this one the longest shampoo has soft feet i don't know about the other one because it's new but what does what does soft feet cause like what does it cause to natural hair because i don't know about any shampoo like here in Cameroon that i can find that does not have soft feet so maybe i've never looked for but anyways, you guys should just tell me the natural hair thing gang. How do you guys wash your hair and what do you guys use on your hair? So, so guys, I'm going to get my hair done. Like I told you guys earlier, I'm going to be doing not less braids. And I am going to Everything Rosie. Everything Rosie is located at Itokibe, opposite Maison Wong Itokibe. When you're there, you cannot get me seen. I can actually link you guys up with her. Just DM me and I'm going to give you her contact. They are very, 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 very good. I will link their Instagram page down in the description box. They are the best. Like, these are one of the people that I always go back to to do my hair because of the environment. They are always very friendly. It's always very fun doing my hair there. So, guys, everything rosy. You need to go there. You need, I mean, you need to experience what I'm talking about. Go and get your hair done at Everything Rosie. If you're in Yaoundé, opposite Maison Bon, Maison Bon, it took it. Go there, get to me, and I'll link you up with her. I'll give you her contact, and I'll leave their Instagram page so you can check out the things that they do. So you can check out the different hairstyles and everything that they do. They also do news there. Do to the news and everything was So check them out fast. In addition to that, they have clothes in their place. They have clothes and shoes. Very, very affordable. So you can come there as well and check out their clothes, check out their shoes. You will definitely find something that you like. So everything rosy for the go. I'm done doing my hair, and so now I have to go and pick up a parcel that was sent to me from Bamenda. I'm heading to Amunezam to pick it up. Oh my way! Please, I'm going to see this planting and blow. As I was just walking and then I saw this planting and blow, and I just had to get. I don't know, it's probably like what I think. Since I ate plantain and plum, so when I saw this one, I was just like, nah, Karen, you need to eat this plantain and plum. And so that is how I ended up buying plantain and plum, which I definitely did not plan to buy. So, on my way to the park to collect the pasta, I bumped to my friend. Where are you from? Uh, where am I from? Mauritius. Wow, how are you going there? Uh, I mean, it's island life, vibes. <laughs> Living life, and enjoying. I'm always seeing you, I'm always seeing you. And chilling, so, chilling, uh, chilling all the time. Now we're doing the most, we're doing the most. <laughs> Alright, nice to see you, Julie. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. As I just came back from doing my hair, ah, please, I just want to 
my family were having lunch for fun cats cats and this I could not resist. I just had to get my own plate and get my own food and eat because that whole thing I'm trying to not do anything for my stomach given that I never eat before leaving the house because my head is so I just hot to eat. Fufu and Kati Kati, that's our traditional meal in our village. Fufu and Kati Kati, which village are you from? I want your traditional meal. You can drop it in the description box below. So, our Fufu and Kati Kati is nice. So, like, if you have never tasted it, this two rings, so you will not regret it. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm just having a very sumptuous Fufu and Kati Kati. Today is Thursday, Ascension Thursday. What do I don't have to say? Oh my god. <clears throat> so any I'm just I'm not very happy because I do know I was not able to attend mass. What happened was that I um I had already booked my appointment for my hair and I booked the ever since so I was not remembering that today was session thursday and so i booked an appointment for eight in the morning and so i had no choice like i could not attend mass anymore since i had to go into my hair initially i wanted to do whether they were supposed to, to thursday still not remembering that thursday is a session thursday until the day was closed and then i'm like oh. anyway so here i am your humble Karen. If you don't know about the dark clothing, hear about the dark clothing from me. They have like the best designs. I mean, the best, the best of the best. I'll also link their page down in the description box so I can check out the different designs that they have. Very, very unique pieces. Very unique pieces. So, do well to check out their designs and you will not be disappointed. If you watched my previous vlog, you know that I was telling my uncle about teaching me yoga before leaving. So, I also love you guys to benefit from the yoga lesson. Some of you guys might be interested. So, um, there's a reason why when you want to do meditation, like you sit like this, mm -hmm. because your energy flow is fluid. And it also helps to calm the mind. So it's very, very important to learn how to sit like this. If you cannot sit like this cross leg, you can also sit on a chair. And it's also very important to make sure that your spine is straight. You don't want to lean back mm -hmm. or lean in the front. So you want a straight spine. Also your neck. You don't want your neck to be bent. And you want your shoulder to be relaxed. So sitting like this is very important. Actually, you just need, if you can master just one posture, mm -hmm. if you can sit on one posture comfortably for two hours or two and a half hours, that's, that's, that's good <laughs> enough, actually. That's actually great yoga. If, if you sit, if you can sit like this for a long time, maybe two hours or more, just sitting like this and listening mm -hmm. to your breathing, just keep your attention to your breathing. Mm -hmm. That's enough. You don't need to do a lot of complex bending and yeah. you don't need so as a technology to control this human body. Um, mm -hmm. because most of the time this body is all over the place. Just on your lap. Good. Yeah. So what you want to do at, when you are at this posture, you want to breathe in and out. Relax. Don't do you don't need to feel like you need to control your breathing. Just breathe in and out regularly, like you know, a normal breathing. And what you what you're doing is you're listening, you're listening to your breathing, your, how you're breathing in and out, in and out. Just listen to that rhythm. Don't you don't have to worry about controlling your thoughts. That will never happen. The more you try to control your mind, the more it, many thoughts are gonna going to come. So you don't want to just let it let it run its course. Just let it do its thing. And if you're just listening to your breath, you're going to realize that at some point, the thoughts are going to, you know, going to dissipate. It's going to start going down and down and down and down. They know, they have studied and they know certain certain way can cause certain energy movement, energy upsurge in your body. 
there are people that have sat in one spot for months and they didn't move um, depending on what you want to achieve mm -hmm. in your life there are certain there are other postures as well mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's very in complex general, like achieving in what we practice yoga if you're very consistent you practice second yoga mm -hmm. there's what they there's a yoga they call kriya yoga kriya there are actually like five different uh, kinds of yoga mm -hmm. there's kriya yoga kriya yoga is, is, is energy so you're building your energy when you breathe, there are certain ways that you breathe that you can breathe and you're building certain energy in your system. Okay. Um, once you keep building, you can use that energy to um, have a that <laughs> you can use that energy to make things happen. Okay. Not that you fly, mm -hmm. but it's just like in prayers when you pray in church, you pray, mm -hmm. you want you know you want certain things to happen, you yes. know, you want to manifest something in your life, right? Yes. Um, it's just that in church you most of the time people are asking God, God, I want you to do this for me. Uh -huh. In yoga, we don't even ask. You don't mm -hmm. need to ask God for anything because you already know that you have to believe in God. You are already a manifestation of God. Mm -hmm. You just need to know how to connect to the ultimate source, mm -hmm. to the universal source of God. Mm -hmm. So calming your mind and getting to a point where thoughts, your thought is no longer an obstacle mm -hmm. and generating enough energy, you can Focus your attention, you can project your energy on what you want to manifest and happens just like that. Because God has given us all that. Remember, even Jesus Christ said you can do things, you can even do more miracles mm -hmm. than what I actually did. So you can do more than what I did. Mm -hmm. And that is actually, I believe that is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. So if you had mm -hmm. good or bad, the universe doesn't know what is good or what is yes, bad. Yes. You, you cannot differentiate between those mm -hmm. two. If you're always worried about something and you're constantly worried about that thing, so be it. Yes. That is because you, you, what you're thinking, your thought, the, the most, you know, if you have a strong or like a really, really strong emotional thought that mm -hmm. you're holding on to it, like it's mm -hmm. really powerful and you really focus on that thought, that is going to happen mm -hmm. because you're building so much energy to the point where it's going to manifest. Mm -hmm. So, in both ways, if you are really really fearful about something and you're holding to that thought and you're thinking about it on a regular basis yes, yeah, yeah. if you feel like you're a good for nothing person you're always suffering you're always struggling you know things are not working for you and you really yes, believe yeah. that so strongly mm -hmm. and you hold it or you really 100 percent believe it same thing that image is building so so be it so yes. the universe doesn't differentiate mm -hmm. and the reverse is true good day fam so i'm on my way to school i mean like, keep the drip of my lovely braids. Mostly for school, so I need to hurry and go. So, my uncle is going back. We are on our way to the Simalin airport to go and drop him off. So, yeah, he's going back to his country. <laughs> So guys, I am at the national, what is national or national airport? International. I am at the international airport, Smalen. Mama say hello. Hello. So I've come to leave, drop off Mama's brother. He's traveling back. So we have the airport. These people had extra load and so they're trying to sort things out, removing things so that it can balance up. When you're traveling, please always make sure that you check out the, the I don't know, the required weight that you're supposed to travel with so that you don't come to the airport now and you start panicking and trying to readjust things. 